Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So on December the 7th in 2020, the game developers of Neverwinter released the Forsaken Lockbox, which was the start of a series of some of the best lockboxes in the game. And the reason was because the rewards that they could give you of those Termlin trade bars were massively increased. Just having a look at the lockbox itself, you could see you could obtain three separate rewards, one of them always being some trade bars. And on average, you were getting 45 plus trade bars per box. So in this video, I'll go over exactly what you should be spending those trade bars on, which lock boxes you want to be opening, and ultimately where to get keys. And if you don't have any keys, what lock box you can open instead that doesn't require them. And ultimately using these methods, you can gain massive amounts of character progression, saving you on millions of Astro Diamonds. So looking back on that initial lockbox, the Forsaken lockbox, they added for the first time a massive amount of trade bars and everybody was spending their keys to get trade bars and were spending those trade bars at the time on bonding runestones and trading those for astral diamonds to gain massive profit. But that's that's aside. Before that, we had the redeemed lockbox, which was of the older standard. And you could see the lockbox has not obtained that section with all of those trade bars. It did have three sections, but the trade bars were only available on a terminal and trade bar jackpot amongst other pretty trashy rewards. So you weren't reliably obtaining them like again, the Forsaken Lockbox. And from there, they released the Astral Lockbox, which is a unique lockbox that you do not need to spend a key to open. However, the cost to buy the Astral Lockbox was from in the Wondrous Bazaar at a base cost of 100,000 per box. That being able to be reduced down to just 60,000 with stacking your discounts. And every few months, again, and checking the calendar, they do come out with their lockbox again. And I believe it's releasing on November the 17th. You can check your calendar on the live server. Can't right now as it's in maintenance. And that Astro lockbox had a whole bunch of controversy with regards to the rewards. And at the time, compared to just the Forsaken lockbox, it was terrible. It did have the Terminal Trade Bar jackpot, but it didn't yet have the Terminal Trade Bars that you would get in the new lockbox. Over time, they did actually go and add this series of Trade Bars where you would always obtain Trade Bars. And you can see that then from these new Astro lockboxes, you will always obtain some Trade Bars, 20 being the minimum and 500 being the maximum. And that compared to these other lockboxes with a maximum of 1,000 meant Astro lockboxes give you a little bit less trade bars, but it's a way for free to play players who can't get keys to still obtain trade bars. So from there, they released the Spellbound lockbox, which again, very similarly also has that big jackpot of trade bars. As you can see there, it did have up to a thousand, just not listed there. Then we got the Enchanting lockbox, the Enscoresold lockbox, the G lockbox of Justice, the Reconnaissance lockbox, the Stealth lockbox, the Skeletal lockbox, and the Dark Omens lockbox. And then they made the change over with the Dragon Cult lockbox, which in my opinion was both good and bad, since with that change, they removed the big old reliability of getting trade bars from your lockboxes. They changed it, so now you only gain 25 trade bars in a one in 10 boxes you open. That's the probability. And so going from an average of 40 plus trade bars, 45 to 50 even per lockbox, to then just 25 per 10 you open, that was a massive reduction. And the reason why trade bars are so valuable, especially for people progressing their characters, is because those trade bars you spend to get upgrade tokens. You can see your merchant here and you can gain these mount upgrade tokens. You can see it costs three for one token and you can do the same for companion tokens, three for one token. Let me tell you, you need thousands of those tokens 
to get all of your companions upgraded to mythic since you need 10 of them for maximum bolster and to get your mounts upgraded to mythic since you need 10 of them on mythic to get your bolster now again those upgrade tokens you can get a 33 percent discount so that you only spend two trade bars per token and that event you can check in your calendar is very close upcoming november the 17th you'll have that discount so the best strategy for new players in my opinion is to get a vip save up your keys and open one of those following lock boxes you can buy these lock boxes from the auction house from other players they are no longer available from the game itself however they should be relatively cheap still Unless people go and screw around with the prices, which they very much will do when I release this video. So you might want to wait a day or two or a week before buying a bunch of these lockboxes. And each of the lockboxes has its own unique rewards. You can see them listed there. And I will have a document linked below like this one where you can click on that lockbox and it will lead you directly to the link of the developer blog where you can read through it and you can see the mount and the companion that's usually unique within that box and then it's following rewards. Usually the only thing that change is the top three rewards, the mythic mount, the legendary mount and the companion, whether that be a choice pack or a new companion that they're coming out. And you can see the reconnaissance lockbox here had that legendary class companion choice pack, which was pretty neat. And so these nine lockboxes are hands down the best for new players. Again, just to obtain the trade bars and those trade bars have massive value to obtain those upgrade tokens. Again, you're getting nearly 50 trade bars per box that you spend a key on. So like your lockbox of dark omens, your lockbox of justice. Imagine 50 trade bars per box. That when you actually spend those trade bars, 50 on a discount, will get you a total of 25 upgrade tokens 25 upgrade tokens is about 250,000 astral diamonds worth and you can see that by when you go to upgrade a companion you can see from epic to legendary it's 120 tokens but from legendary to mythic it's 150 tokens so if you're getting 25 tokens per box that you open you will just need six keys to get enough 150 tokens or 1.5 million astral diamonds worth. That again makes one key worth 250,000 astral diamonds. Now on the topic of this astral lock box, well, it has a base cost of 100,000 astral diamonds. You don't need a key to open it, just that initial cost of astral diamonds and the rewards regularly change. So you can't I can't rely on the rewards and make this lockbox appealing based on the rewards, especially since the chance to obtain the rewards you want are just so minimal. But opening these Astro lockboxes, again, will give you on average just over 40 trade bars. You're always obtaining trade bars on every single one you open. And so 40 trade bars is again 20 of those upgrade tokens. And 20, again, upgrade tokens is like 200,000 Astro Diamonds worth. And if you're only spending 100,000 Astro Diamonds, you're already doubling the worth that you invest into them to obtain the upgrade tokens. So hopefully that hasn't confused you, but that's the best method for new players to get your mounts and companions upgraded is trade bars and getting upgrade tokens. As you can see, again, upgrading a mount, like to get to Epic, you need 150. And then to get to Mythic, you need 200. At the moment, it's usually best to buy legendary mounts and upgrade them to Mythic. That's probably the cheapest way. And as for companions, again, you need 10 of them to get your bolster up to 100. And you also need five different ones here for the extra stats that they would give you. And the mounts, again, you need uh, 10 of them on Mythic to get that 100%. So these are the nine best lockboxes to use your keys on. And then Astro lockboxes are for like free to play players who have a bunch of Astro diamonds and want to be upgrading mounts and companions. You want to buy Astro lockboxes and then you want to get your tokens. Again, saving the trade bars for that discount event 
just here and then buying them and that way each token only costs you two instead of three now before we conclude we can have a look at a few of the rewards personally the best lockbox to open is the lockbox of justice as it has the minsk companion which everybody wants on their dps character because it goes in your defensive slot and it gives you a big damage boost the bigger they are increasing damage against enemies and otherwise the pegasus itself is one of four of the best mounts for making your enemy take more damage and overall that means the lockbox of justice has two very desirable rewards looking through the rest of the lockboxes your dragon hunter is somewhat useful but only against dragons your Lich is the best for tanks. Your Butterfly is also really good for tanks. And your Legendary Class Companion Choice Pack has some pretty good companions there, especially your Dedicated Squire that come at Legendary, allowing you to only have to upgrade them once to get to Mythic. But keep in mind, if you're a new player and don't have a backlog of these, let's say, lockboxes of justice, buying them from other players is going to be expensive because people will hold on to them and then drip feed them into the market, selling them at like 10 times the amount that they actually spent originally to buy them or to obtain them. Again, don't buy keys from the Zen market. Just buy VIP, hold on to your keys, get a bunch, and then go on a spree of opening your favorite lockbox. And you may as well save onto those keys until the time of the discount event of the trade bars and then buy the upgrade tokens you need. And you will gain massive character progression through that method, saving millions of astral diamonds. Again, a special thank you to all of these channel members for their continued support. And if I present this well, consider leaving the video a like. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.